Well, guys, thank you for having me on. Um, my name is Scott Wingo, and uh, excited to be back with the program, uh, working with the outfielders, uh, assisting with the hitters, infielders, and uh, I'll be our third base coach. So really excited about that. Um, the culture um, since day one I've got here, it's, it's been awesome. Uh, working with Mark, Chad, Justin, Ryan West, our, our uh, operations guy, um, and Brian Wells, and just, just obviously the, the players. It's been a really cool experience so far, and you can just tell the guys are, are anxious and uh, excited and just flat out ready to go to, uh, to start this fall. So um, open for questions, Kent. All right, now uh, raise your hand, uh, uh, the raise hand function, and I'll give it, I'll call on you. We'll start with Dave. How's it going, Scott? Welcome home. <laughs> there he is. What's up, DC? <laughs> How's it going, man? Uh, got two questions for you. Number one, will you be wearing number eight on the field next year? Yes, sir. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be wearing number eight. And two, you know, once you got here and, and met the team, met the kids for the first time, did you know, did they know who you were? Are the pictures still around there, you know, in the locker room and the offices, all that? I mean, did, did you have to, to show them or, or did they they already know the reputation you bring? They did. They did. Uh, and it was pretty cool. It was uh, – it, it's pretty cool when some of these guys tell me that they went to our – went to our parade or just was watching the games. Um, to One, it made me feel old, you know. I mean – I said, man, I'm, I'm, I'm getting old. I'm getting really old. And one player we just had at a prospect camp said he was at a camp when he was, I want to say, five or six years old with me, Blake Cooper, and Matt Price. And I was like, you were six years old, and now he's about 18. So I'm, that definitely made me feel like I'm, I'm getting up there. But, yeah, they, most of the guys knew, knew of me. Um, and, and it was pretty humbling and cool experience to just get to talk to them a little bit about those those – especially those, those two years in 10 and 11. Go, Joe Gorchow. Hey, Scott, welcome back. I'm curious, with your experiences obviously being a player here, how does that help you coach this program, understanding the expectations from the fan base and what it means to put on that uniform? Right. It's One, it's, it's, it's an honor to be able to come here and coach. It's your alma mater. Um, the respect I have for – these fans program, you know, they know the game of baseball. They, they know how to win. They, they expect to win. And that's, that's something I got to, uh, to see my four years here. You know, we had, we had some good teams in the eight and nine, really good teams. And uh, I was, I was speaking with Reese Havens not a few days ago and just told him, man, that 2018, we could, that we could, we could play with anybody. Um, just had a few missing pieces, but, um, you respect the, just the overall, the culture that was started here. And that was, goes back to a long time ago. I remember in 2000 to 2004, I'd, I'd watch those guys in Omaha, um, Drew Meyer, you know, Landon Powell, a bunch of those guys, Dave Marshbanks went to Mullen High School, but I just, uh, those guys started, I felt like really set a good foundation here. And we, we were able to, to cap it off in 10 and 11, but that's the goal is to get back there. Cause when, obviously, you know, when you get to, when you get to Omaha, you got a shot, you got a shot. And I'm curious in building off that, how do you help now the current players understand and build and handle those pressures? Because you went through it here in Carolina. So, you know, firsthand what it takes to handle it and win. How can you help these young guys do the same? Right. I think it starts first with being prepared. You know, I, I remember a lot of times when I think of not just questions like that, but think of moments where maybe I wasn't quite ready or I was a little bit nervous for the moment. I don't think I was quite prepared as far as an athletic standpoint, being prepared to hit those guys that are 92, 94. You know, I just wasn't a great hitter in, during that, say, that specific year. Now, defensively, I felt like I was ready to roll from day one, but – preparation's big you've got to be ready to go and that's that starts with with obviously us and that starts with the guys getting in those cages getting on the field and preparing to be ready to play obviously the most elite talent out there go to Colin Taylor 
Just got to like echo everybody. Welcome back to Columbia and South Carolina. I'm curious what um what what was the process like to get you back, and what was it a hard sell from Coach Kingston to get you back into the program? Well, you know, when um obviously Coach Lake took another job, I speak think and speak very highly of Coach Lake. I know he took another job outside of baseball, um, but when that happened, um, Coach Kingston and I have a conversation on the phone and. And just to get the opportunity, opportunity to come back to my alma mater wasn't, wasn't a very tough sell just because this place is home to me. Um, and obviously, I, I love this place more than anything, you know, and um, got great memories here. And obviously, I, I think, think highly of this place. So I'm, it wasn't tough for me, Colin, I'll be honest with you. And I guess you obviously spent the last couple of years with Notre Dame. You got to coach in a super regional last year. What did you learn in your time there that you can kind of help apply to, to what you're going to be doing at South Carolina? Definitely. Uh, Link Jarrett is as, as good as it gets. Um, one, he's very detailed oriented, oriented person, uh, but he has a lot of feel for the game. You know, he was a infielder at Florida state. I believe he went to the college world series three times. Um, and I want to say he's got the, he leads the uh, country in assists, I believe, as a shortstop. So I mean, he's got a lot of feel for the game. Um, great coach. Um, he's he's one of my uh, – he'll always be one of my mentors that I look up to because he's just a great person. Uh, and definitely um, he's got Notre Dame on the right path. Chuck Rostano, Rich Wallace, you know, Sean Guide, all those guys over there are doing a great job. And uh, I wish them nothing but the best. Um, but definitely we'll take away the details. You know, we, we prepared the right way and that's, that's where you, you have to do the small things right. Because if not, those things kind of compound on you. And next thing you know, you're down seven, nothing and you're having to fight back. So we're going to try to do the small things right. And, uh, get, hopefully get to Omaha, Nebraska. John Whittle. Hey, Scott, welcome back. Good to see you again. Good to see you, Whittle. Uh, you, your uh, coaching journey has been, has been di different. You've had a lot of different stops, got out of it for a minute. What, what made you want to get back in? And, you know, how has all those experiences helped you grow, grow as a coach? What are some of the lessons that you've brought through that? Definitely, definitely. I, I got out in 2018 after Jacksonville and got in, actually moved to Columbia and worked with a good buddy of mine, his staffing firm, um, and got my real estate license as well. And after about six to eight months, that itch is almost like one of those former pro, former pro athletes retires. He gets an itch. He gets that itch again to go, to go play. And I got that as far as coaching. And luckily I got a phone call from a few schools wanting, wanting me to be the volunteer assistant. And Link Jarrett was one of them. And um, I just, I just followed my heart on that and uh, went up to Notre Dame. Didn't even go on an actual visit up there. I just spoke to him a number of times on the phone, a couple hours. And uh, just my heart was led to, to get back into coaching. You know, I felt like my dad, who obviously, you know, he played at Clemson, played a little football and baseball there. He coached me growing up. And just, I always knew in the back of my head I wanted to coach. And um, after that 2018 season, I felt like maybe I needed to just possibly step away for a little bit to see, see some other options. And that, I think that six to eight months solidified it for me a little bit as far as wanting, knowing where my heart wanted to be, you know. And um, some lessons, oh, a lot of lessons. Um, I've been a part of some great coaches as far as anywhere from North Greenville, Landon Powell and Coot Langis to Chris Hayes, at Jacksonville and to Link Jarrett. So uh, it's, it's pretty, I've, I've gotten to see some really good coaches and hopefully can take away some bits and pieces of that from, from them. Joe. Scott, I'm curious, uh, what did Ray have to say once you officially signed the paperwork to join the staff? Co coach is excited. Coach is excited. I've yet, I've got to go see him. I'm going to go see him up in his, up in his office, obviously him and uh, Christy Davis. Um, but he, he's excited. He's excited. He knows I'm excited and I'm, 
I am uh, can't tell you how humbled and, and just fired up I am to be able to, to come here and coach, man. I, I'm going to give these guys all I got. I'm going to – like I did as a player. And um, like Coach says, you know, hard work doesn't guarantee success, but it's, we're going to try to put ourselves in a position to be successful. So we're going we're gonna to work hard. Colin? Yes, Scott, two questions. But first, what's it like to follow a guy like Coach Lake who had obviously been with the program for, for such a long time and made a name for himself, not only here but across the state? Definitely. Coach Lake, I, there's some people that, you know, you don't try to replace as far as, hey, that's, you know, I, I'm just going to be who I am and do the best I can and um, and let and let the, and let's play some ball. You know, I'm, I'm just going to be who I am and they're going to see that and hopefully that uh, translate to some obviously great years. And um, obviously I still have a great, you know, I, I keep in touch with, with coach Lake every once in a while. Um, and I know I wish the best for him, but I'm, I'm obviously I'm just going to be myself and hopefully we can go win some ball games. Yeah. And what's now that you've gotten a chance to see some of the small work, small, small group work that y'all have been able to do the last couple of days, what's your impression of the guys that you'll be able to work with and, um, just some of the younger guys that you've seen so far through BP and individual drills. Definitely. We've, we've got a one a athletic group, the newcomers, they look really good. Um, we've got a nice little group of, you know, older guys. Um, Eister got a few transfers that are, that really are looking, looking good. Um, I expect us to, to be competitive and absolutely get after it. You know, we, a couple short stops I like. Um, obviously Madden came from Virginia tech. He's uh, he's a good player. Um, but enjoying working with him so far. I know we're only a few days in, but, um, I expect us to grow as a group and obviously as a team this, this fall, this is a big fall. You know, I know it's a lot of people that you guys know, especially Gamecock fans know that know baseball fall is a time where you, where you, where you win. Um, and, and, we're going to hopefully do that this fall as, as far as just growing as a group and getting, getting better, just getting better. Dave. Scott, have you talked with Mark yet about getting crunk? Is that going to be allowed in the, in the pregame huddles? I haven't even talked to him yet, but I will. I, I would like to, that's been my little thing. It's been pretty, pretty funny at Jacksonville and Notre Dame. I've, I've I've had a little pregame speech with all the hitters before every game, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bring that to his attention. I'm sure he'd be cool with that, but we'll get him going. We'll get him going. John, how, how many stops have you coached third base before, and are you ready for folks to get on you if if somebody gets thrown out at the plate? I at the Wilmington Sharks Coastal Plains League. I was our third base coach for what three four years. Um, but I'll be ready for him, John. You know, I, I, uh, I'm sure we're, we're going to be aggressive and I'll have probably one guy, at least one guy thrown out, but, uh, they're going to know that I did it from the right side. We're going to be, we're going to be aggressive, but obviously, yeah, you're right. I'm going to work there this fall a lot in the, in the scrimmages, get more comfortable with that because obviously I've usually been at first base the past three years. So I look forward to that. And definitely going to work hard this fall in our scrimmages of just getting more comfortable with one, our guys and me as well, you know, just with the position right there. Cause that's, that's, there's a, that's the hot corner, if you will, as, as far as coaching boxes, that's where the action is. So I look, I look forward to it though. 